What's going on, everybody? Doc from Average Gamer Guys back finally yet again with some Rocket League news today. So we're gonna jump right into this pretty quick, short video. We got a little bit of gameplay going on in the background. I'm gonna take some snippets of what we got going on so you guys can take a look at it. But I'm gonna post the patch notes down below. We've got version 1.56 out today for Rocket League. Came out a couple hours ago. I think it was 10 a.m. Pacific time which is like 2 p.m. Eastern, and then however you do the math for the rest of the time zones there. Uh, but it was a pretty big update, 6.6 .6 gigs uh, across all platforms, and it came with some pretty interesting stuff. So we're going to dive into it. It definitely has some implications for the channel uh, moving forward, which we'll talk about here as, uh, as we get into it. Um, but I'm just going to give you guys the, the overall big highlights. I'll sh again show a little bit of the content up on the screen. So just hang out with me for just a little bit. Get your Rocket League fix. Get your news in. And, uh, and hopefully we'll be having some news soon. I'll talk about that here in just a second as well. So um, the big thing, especially for Xbox users, uh, was the fact that we finally, finally got Xbox One uh, X support. It comes with a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, I'll talk through all that here in again in a second, um, but we got some new content as well. So across all the systems, new content. We got Rocket League Monster Cat Volume Five, uh, which is actually really really cool. Had a chance to just hop in the game, play a couple of games. Uh, the new playlist it's pretty chill. Uh, I think maybe comparatively to what we're kind of used to, but um, it's really good. I've liked it so far. It'll be interesting. Uh, just to kind of you know listen to the rest of it. I don't think I listened to all the songs yet in the games that I played today. I, well, I take that back. I may have, um, but I liked it. Definitely more chill. The, the cool thing that they do uh, with the Monster Cat and the playlist is obviously that you can you know kind of select your playlist. So if this isn't your vibe or it's not what you're feeling, uh, go into your options. You know, select a playlist that's better for you. So just something to consider, but I've liked it so far. Uh, in addition to that, we've got some new Monster Cat flags that are in, as well as some new community flags. Uh, there's some pretty cool ones in there as well. Um, I'll let you guys take a look and, and kind of scroll through the options. Uh, but that's just some of the new content. I hit on this already just a little bit, but Xbox One X enhanced support is finally here. Uh, I have an Xbox One X, I will tell you that. I do not have a 4K TV. Playing this game, and this and this gameplay is not from, this is previous to the update, um, the game looks and feels really good. Um, there's some scaling up that it does, uh, some super sampling, and some other things that even if you don't have a 4K TV but have Xbox One X, um, you're going to be able to kind of enjoy. Uh, I will tell you, the game, for whatever reason, just looks really, really good. Uh, it definitely... I don't know that it handles better per se, but I just I need more time with it. But it does look really good, and I think that leads to a little bit of perception of uh, that it plays a little bit better. So time will tell on that. But I've been happy with it. Uh, it's nice. And then again, if you have 4K TV, um, you get native 4K, all that kind of stuff. You get the great display. I mean, you, you've got yourself set. There's probably a relatively small sample size of people that are out there playing on that, uh, but kind of a interesting note and definitely uh, it, it's awesome it's finally see it's finally good to see the Xbox one X support uh, come full focus you get HDMR which will automatically activate again it's all based on if your TV can do that and you have everything disabled or enabled and stuff like that um, and I think you can disable that and then you get HDR options as well so that's there for you pretty neat obviously a big portion for the update especially on the Xbox side of things um, more so for everybody uh, again, doesn't matter what platform you're playing on. Uh, they've changed some of the things with the weekly uh, progression system, post-match, how they score points, and everything like that, which I think is some really necessary changes and some really need needed changes. Me and Sloth were talking about this uh, actually just the other day, um, how the game kind of feels a little, just a little bit stagnant with the XP system. Um, again, we've been spoiled with the two XP this past weekend. Uh, or, yeah, uh, at least a little while ago, the, the 2XP system uh, boost, which was obviously really, really nice. But then, in addition to that, we were just talking about how it, it feels like it's it's really kind of taking a little bit of a grind to level up. And the rewards for leveling up, obviously, when you don't have, uh, you don't have Rocket Pass or anything else like that, 
just feels kind of dry. You just get maybe an uncommon, maybe you're lucky enough to get a rare. Uh, so this upcoming changes or the changes that are live currently right now with this update, I think are going to be really nice. First of all, they increase the XP uh, per second in both casual and competitive playlists by 40%. So just right there off the bat, you're going to get more XP uh, just for playing a full match. That's obviously really nice. They increase the win bonus from 50 to 100. Doesn't seem like a big shift, but uh, something is better than nothing. That's definitely for sure. Uh, the increase, this is probably the big one. Really, there's two big ones, but this is one of the biggest ones. They increase the weekly win bonus from two matches per day to three per day, and then your weekly maximum increases from 14 to 21. In my opinion, that is huge, especially as we get into the Rocket Pass. You get the bonus uh, XP for the Rocket Pass if you end up buying the premium version. And uh, and then you go and you talk about, you know, again, the double XP situation or anything like that. Having one additional weekly win is just huge. That's just so much uh, extra experience, especially at 2,500, uh, which they've set it to now. So I, that's a very welcome change. And I think it's going to make it's going to make the grind not quite so bad. I think the next Rocket Pass, I think they've really listened to the community here, uh, especially with these changes, and I think people are really going to enjoy that. In addition to that, they've added in a limited number of points are now awarded for each ball hit, uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, you can earn two points per touch, and then the points are limited uh, to one touch per second. So if you're in there and you're just dribbling and you're just hitting it a bunch or I don't know what other situation you'd be in just smacking the ball back and forth in the corner. Uh, I, I really don't know, but um, that's a, that's nice. That's definitely some, some additional points uh, that are going to be applied, and then obviously your points and your score at the end of the match impacts, um, to a certain extent, impacts uh, the XP that you get on the back end. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, they also did add in another thing that I thought was interesting. Seems kind of silly that it took them so long to do this, but players who have not met the minimum point threshold in order to earn XP are now going to see a notification at the end of match screen. Something really simple, but kind of nice for the reason why you um, wouldn't get, uh, or why you're not getting your XP. So uh, I think that's really nice. They've added in uh, ranked extra mode leaderboards. I know this is something that the community was really talking about. Um, so they now have skill leaderboards added for each extra mode, which is really, ni really nice. And then the extra mode leaderboard is going to include the MMR data uh, going back all the way to the beginning of Season 9. So retroactively, they're fitting it in. I think that's really smart. Uh, I think people are going to really enjoy that. Competitive placement match wins. This is, a, this is kind of a big one. It seems really simple, but competitive your placement match wins now count towards your bronze bronze season reward level so i really like this this was a, an argument or not an argument but a thought i know me and sloth had had for a long time uh, about this that you can't go any lower than bronze rank <laughs> and granted you're playing your placement matches to see where you are but if you're in a real a higher rank especially say you you're like really tried to make the grind to diamond um, or you know the low end of champ the last thing that you want to have to do is grind out all of those other <laughs> additional games just to get through your bron bronze season rewards so I think this is a really good change I think this was really smart and uh, it's nice to see this implemented I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy this and honestly again if you play if you even play the game at all and play it for any amount of period of time you're gonna get these rewards so why not let you work towards them even during your placement matches. It just makes sense. Now, uh, I'm going to skip this next one and then just kind of roll through the rest of this. Uh, there's some bug fixes and some other things in here. General, they've added start and end dates uh, to the Rocket Pass screen. So as soon as the next one comes out, uh, we're going to be able to see that, which I think was really smart. This is a huge one for me, and I hadn't had this glitch up until recently, but new item <laughs> notifications have been removed. It's interesting because you now get zero new item notifications, so you don't know if you have a new item, uh, but this was one way for them to fix uh, if you had a stuck new item notification like I did, I did which was uh, honestly for me was so annoying, um, and I'm really glad it's gone now. And I could confirm with you if you've had it, if you've had that ghost new item in your inventory forever, uh, it's now gone. So rejoice <laughs> and get this update. So that you can get it fixed and not have your, um, not not have it bug you anymore like it did for most people and definitely did for me. Um, 
the net they've adjusted how some club colors are going to display in on uh, arena matches which it, it is it is what it is and then this is a beta feature for steam uh, but it allows you to remap controls through steam uh, while playing in big picture mode i don't play on steam but hopefully that's beneficial for everybody then we talked through a couple of bug fixes so playstation 4 had one where the game should no longer freeze when starting matchmaking um, they fixed the striker legend goal explosion displaying a striker pro some easy stuff there they've uh, redone or modified if you will I, I guess again rather fix the mg88 and mummified decals to now properly display in the endo that's really nice especially if you're an endo user fix a bug uh, that would give incorrect results after filtering by most recent uh, I I can't necessarily confirm that's 100% fixed uh, I need to do a little bit more testing with my inventory, but it still feels like there's some small issues with it, but it's definitely not nearly as bad as it used to be. So it's nice. Nintendo Switch, the trades involving more than 10 keys will no longer fail. That's obviously huge if you play on Switch. I could see how that would be really, really annoying. Uh, Rocket Pass XP boost amount now correctly display, displays at the end of the match. I don't know that I ever noticed that being an issue, but I'm sure it was. Um, silver and gold season six rule reels are now correctly dis will now correctly display in battle cars. That's obviously really nice. Here's a big one: RLCS decals now display all relevant details in the trade window. This was a big issue, especially in the trading community, uh, because essentially, if you put in enough items uh, with the RLCS, RLCS decals, it would not show, uh, I believe, the certification on it. And sometimes I don't think the paint either. Uh, I, I might not I might be speaking a little incorrectly on that but it definitely would not show the certifications which obviously for a lot of these older decals is really really important and you're talking in the grand scheme of trading you're talking about some pretty significant changes uh, if you're missing a really important certification so that's obviously really nice that's huge uh, probably not I don't know how hard of a thing that would be to fix but it's obviously very very important um, in addition they fixed an edge near the wasteland blue uh, team goal that that pose uh, go, team goal post that cause an irregular bounce obviously extremely important their map should work correctly and then the boost exhaust exhaust near rear of engine should now be the correct color instead of default orange so all good things there they've got some additional known uh, issues that they're working through um, but let's talk about the last and probably the most significant thing <laughs> especially as of recently for this channel uh, I just want to say thanks again. We've had a just a huge growth in number of subs, number of people commenting, just just in general uh, from all of the Crate Series videos we've done. I, I, I cannot describe, me and Sloth cannot describe to you how uh, just excited we are and just grateful for everybody uh, that's tuned in. Again, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've been here at least even for just a little while, seen the Crate openings uh, that we've just re recently done with the, the double drop rate, Sincerely, thanks. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the comments. Uh, just thank you for being part of our community. Uh, we are very closely approaching the thousand mark, which is uh, a really neat milestone for us being a really small channel. Um, and it just, it's really encouraging to hear from everybody. Just all the positivity, just that you've really enjoyed the content, you've enjoyed the commentary, you've obviously enjoyed the luck, and it was really, really good. So, you know, I can't even argue with the, you on that one, but. Uh, We've just, it's just been fun, uh, and it's been really cool to see the, uh, just see the channel grow, and I just want to say thanks from, from both of us, but with that being said, crates and keys, crate contents, listen up when I say this, uh, crate contents are now revealed in a new, faster unlock sequence, so I took, uh, I didn't get a screenshot of this or a little bit of video, and I should have. Uh, I'm sure it's somewhere else up on YouTube or you can take a look if you've got a decryptor in a crate. The new sequence, it is no longer the roulette wheel, if you will. Um, there's a lot of speculation about why that's changing. Uh, I'll talk about of that just a, sh a smidge, just a little bit. Um, the new sequence essentially is, it shows you, uh, if, if you guys kind of know and can picture uh, the sequence of when you actually get the item, your, ca your car kind of pops up from the ground. This new sequence essentially replaces the roulette wheel with that, except uh, it goes through a couple of different flashing lights for uh, with your car still in the ground, and then it rises your car up, and you see the item you get on your car. 
This, uh, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Here's what I'm going to say. It's, it's not, it, I don't actually know how much faster it is. I need to do a little bit of time study to see. It is definitely faster than the roulette wheel of opening the crate. Now, I will say this in addition to that, uh, is the suspense for me a little bit uh, is kind of gone. It's obviously still there in some regards, okay? Uh, there's obviously still uh, a sequence where you don't know what you're going to get, and it, it kind of rotates through, and it's a surprise when your car comes up. That's all cool. Um, that part of it is still there. It definitely doesn't have the feel like it used to uh, before where, again, it looks like you're getting some other item. It, it kind of just slowly ticks by, and you're like, oh, I just missed this you know, black market decal or those exotic wheels or whatever it ends up being. That's gone. Now it's just a pure... Some flashing lights, your car pops up, and you have an item on it. Um, what will be nice for the channel is that doing really, really large <laughs> uh, crate openings, which we have some tentatively planned, uh, will now not take 50 minutes to do. So if you're watching the content and you enjoy seeing the crates being opened and, and seeing the items that we get, hurrah, clap your hands. Uh, but for everybody else, especially for me, I don't know. I like the ru the roulette wheel. I like to see the spin. Uh, honestly, it gives me some time to kind of chat with you guys. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet because I haven't done a crate opening. Uh, so, like I said, we've got some stuff planned, especially as we get really close to the thousand mark. Uh, I've got some kind of special uh, a special series, if you will. Uh, I've been working on getting some items for, and I think we're going to have a good time with it. Um, so we'll just have to kind of test it out and see. So stay tuned to the channel. Uh, but like I said, take a look at it. Again, if you got a decryptor or and a crate, uh, or you want to pop open and take a look at many of the other YouTubers that are on YouTube uh, or Twitch stream or whatever you end up watching, um, you'll be able to see it. It's it's just a different sequence, and I don't want people to be surprised. Um, but it is definitely there. Now, with that, all that being said, I, I will join, I guess, a little bit of the speculation of why they changed it. So, if you're not familiar uh, in Europe. And I think now coming, you know, shortly into the United States, there's been a big crackdown and a lot of discussion uh, at like the federal level and, and different things about games and gambling. Okay, gambling obviously is legal in most senses in the United States. You can gamble uh, at a specific age. You can gamble at specific locations. You know, we've got casinos. We've got um, you know Las Vegas. You, you know, there's lots of opportunities to gamble in specific locations. The one thing that's coming up is they're talking specifically about loot boxes and games and essentially how it is gambling. Um, I, I'll just be honest with you, crates in Rocket League do feel like gambling, especially with the roulette style wheel that they had before and the excitement that it brings about almost getting an item. Um, there's definitely that sense and that feeling that that could be how that's portrayed. I'm not saying that it is, um, but from a business sense, uh, and Psyonix and Rocket League are a business, uh, there's probably some some good that comes out of it from them to be able to say that they have a different process and it doesn't feel it's not quite as I don't know the word to use but it's not quite as enticing uh, not quite as in addicting especially for a younger age audience that you know potentially this game uh, this game has it has a, a generally younger audience although there is a lot of folks like myself that are much older uh, that are m more than old enough to gamble in real life uh, and can enjoy that. So I just, I'm putting it out there. I'm curious to see. I don't know how uh, community feedback is going to affect it uh, and really, you know, federally and, and with the government, how different things will affect it. It's important to know. Uh, I think that's a, a, a real life situation about uh, a potential reason for the change. Uh, but there may be other some some background, some coding, some other things, or maybe some future things that they're going to do with Rocket Pass or crates or whatever the case may be uh, that we don't quite know yet either. I, again, speculation on on why they're doing it, uh, but I think it's kind of important to at least understand some of the background and some of what might might be playing into it, uh, not just from a sense of them wanting to change it. I, there's definitely a reason, in my opinion. Uh, it's just a matter of what that reason is is or multiple reasons like I said I think um, I think there's a lot of stuff coming up too that could play into it so that's what I'll say on that uh, it's definitely gonna be a big change uh, and I'll be curious to hear what you guys think go take a look at it or again crack a crate with a decryptor or a key and uh, and let me know what you think about it. it 
it's just different. It feels different, and different's not always bad. Sometimes different is good, but it's definitely going to take for me and the crazy amount of crates that we've opened. It's going to take some some time getting used to. Uh, the real key moment will be is if I get as hyped for a really awesome you know mystery decal or anything like that, the same way I would when look looking at it through the roulette wheel. So the only time will tell. Only time will tell. <laughs> Stay tuned to the channel uh, and see what we got coming up here pretty shortly. Uh, but uh, but that's what we got. So in addition to that, that's really the news. Again, take a look at the patch notes down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are enjoying it. And if you have a 4K, uh, if you're playing Xbox One X and you got a 4K uh, TV, let me know sincerely how good this game looks uh, and how well it plays. That's really important, uh, especially when you're talking about enhanced uh, Xbox One X games. But the other thing uh, that I think we should hopefully get some information on soon is that the next Rocket Pass and Frosty Fest 2018, we should be getting some details relatively soon on that. Um, I know when they talked about the December 3rd update and told us it was coming out, that uh, it was going to very shortly after that include uh, some details about um, those two things. So hopefully very, very soon, probably let a little bit of time saturate uh, and get some feedback for, uh, you know, this update and everything. But I'm hoping, again, you know, Christmas is 22 days away. <laughs> and that's really kind of what Frosty Fest sort of revolves around. Uh, so, and, and obviously the holidays and everything else that goes into it. So I'm really hoping, you know, talk about three weeks, hopefully maybe the beginning of next week. We'll see the new Rocket Pass and Frosty Fest, and I would love if these events could uh, combine because that just makes playing the game that much more fun. So uh, stay tuned to the channel. As soon as we get any more details and info on that, we will definitely throw that out to you. Uh, and then additionally, I don't want to steal a sloth thunder, uh, but we have an, another series that we're talking about working through. So hopefully we can get another video up uh, sometime later this week. So stay tuned for that and kind of talk about an idea that we have. We'll play some games. We'll just kind of chat. And, uh, and we'll throw our idea out to you guys as a community uh, to see if we can get some feedback for it. So, uh, as always, Dr. From Average Game, guys, hopefully this Rocket League news was interesting and uh, helpful for you. And, uh, and hopefully enjoyed. Hopefully enjoyed a little bit of the gameplay and the background as well. And uh, like I said, just really, really appreciate the support. Thanks uh, for everybody for watching. Uh, and again, thanks for all the new subscribers. And again, if you've been here uh, longer than just the past, a <laughs> uh, couple of great opening videos, sincerely thank you for your support as well. Um, the, the last couple of videos have just done amazing, just beyond, uh, beyond where we ever thought they would go. And uh, that's just sincerely appreciated. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Dr. Remember Gamer, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.